Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name is Matthias and I'm an underwater cinematographer and filmmaker based in Zurich, Switzerland. Today I want to talk to you about why I love the Paralens Underwater Camera Plus. Coming up! Now recently I came back from a vacation in the Red Sea where I had quite a few equipment pieces with me for testing. One of the pieces that I have taken with me on this trip was the Paralens Underwater Camera Plus, their newest model. Now, if you've been following this channel, you know that I've reviewed the Paralens Underwater Camera quite a few times already, but I thought since this is going to be a pleasure trip and I'm going to be just diving for fun, not with a special purpose in mind, I took it with me anyways, so to see whether or not it is usable as a leisure underwater camera for someone who is not filming professionally underwater. So I don't really want to talk about the accessories that come with the camera, the app and all that sort of stuff. Today I really want to concentrate on the quality and the ease of use of this camera, the Paralens Underwater Camera Plus. If you're interested in all the other aspects of this camera, please feel free to check out my other videos, my other reviews that I made regarding the Paralens cameras. I'll link them up here somewhere, so feel free to go and check them out as well. My dive buddy Pascal and myself we're enjoying two fantastic weeks with awesome dives in the Red Sea in the area of Marsa Alam and then on a liverboard going down to the area of St. John's. We've used this time and we've used most of the dives to take the Paralens Underwater Camera Plus with us and just shoot a few bits and pieces here and there. We didn't really have something specific in mind, we just wanted to test the camera in various conditions and see whether or not this is usable for someone who does not really have a lot of experience with filming underwater. And we also wanted to know if you can just grab some shots with the camera and then just put it together to a short clip afterwards without having to put a lot of work into it. And without talking any more about what we wanted to do, here is some test footage that Pascal and myself were able to take with the Paralens Underwater Camera Plus. Enjoy! And 
So as you can see, I was immensely impressed with the quality of footage that you can get out of such a small camera like the Paralens Underwater Camera Plus. Now obviously the quality of the footage does not really compare to a larger rig like for example my GH5S in the Naughty Cam housing, but that wasn't really the purpose. I didn't really want to compare the quality of two completely different camera systems when it comes to filming underwater. What I wanted to see is whether or not you can just grab the camera take it underwater, take some shots and then put it together to a nice little um, video afterwards. And that definitely works. As I've mentioned in my previous videos, the um, use of the camera is very intuitive. I really enjoy how it gives you a feedback, a vibration feedback when you turn the camera on, when you start recording, all that sort of stuff. That's very, very handy. Some people have always commented and said that they're missing the screen on the back of the camera. I personally have to say that after a little bit of time getting used to it, I don't miss the screen anymore. I think it works quite well without the screen simply because of the design of the camera that you hold it in your hand like a, like a torch basically. And with its wide coverage of the lens, it's pretty hard not to get what you wanted in the picture. Also, I was quite impressed that um, my dive buddy Pascal, who has not done any underwater filming previously, was able to just grab the camera. I was able to explain him how to use it within two minutes and he was off and shooting his own videos while I was shooting with my larger rig underwater. So that was proof to me that this camera really is usable for someone who has never done any underwater filming beforehand and that even someone who has got no experience with filming underwater can get some decent shots with their camera. With the risk of repeating myself, what I really like about the Paralens camera is their automatic color correction um, as you go deeper down on the dive. So you only need to set the DCC either to blue water or to green water, depending on what kind of water that you're diving in. And then it will adjust the amount of red that it's going to put into the, um, into the picture automatically and will give you fairly decent colors uh, throughout your entire dive without you having to do manual white balance adjustments throughout the different depth of your dive. And that is very, very handy. Obviously, there's also some things that I don't really like about the quality of the footage. One of it is that in my opinion, most of the footage is a little bit oversaturated. And unfortunately, there is no setting that you can change inside the camera to adjust for that. So what you'll need to do is once you've bring the footage into your editing software, whether that be Premiere Pro, um, Final Cut or whatever you're using to edit your videos, you will need, in my opinion, to bring down the saturation um, a little bit, maybe even the contrast, because I think that it is just a little bit over the top as it comes out of the camera. Another thing that I'm not particularly happy with is if you're trying to shoot against the sun underwater, the camera really struggles with that. But that's something that a lot of cameras have, especially small action cameras with the smaller sensor size and less dynamic range. So that was to be expected really. But these are minor drawbacks in my opinion. So all in all, I really think that the Paralens Underwater Camera Plus is a great camera and I'm really considering taking just this camera with me on my next diving vacation and I'm not talking on an assignment where I'm shooting videos for clients underwater but really just on a diving vacation that I'm taking with friends and I don't want to take with me my whole big kit with the Panasonic GH5S, the Nauticam housing, different ports, different lenses, all that sort of stuff. In those scenarios in the future I'm quite certainly just going to take the Paralens Underwater Camera Plus and just use that to capture some nice footage underwater during my dives. So I'm really considering that option and for that reason alone, I love the Paralens Underwater Camera Plus. Has any of you guys used the Paralens Underwater Camera Plus? If so, what is your opinion on it? 
leave a comment down in the comment section below and I'll be happy to engage in a conversation and a discussion with you about how good the camera really is and in what situations it's used best. And that was it for today's video guys. Thank you very much for watching again. If this video was useful to you, if you enjoyed it, if you got some information out of it, please hit that like button, it really does mean a lot to me. And also consider subscribing to the channel for more content connected to underwater filmmaking and cinematography in the future. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next Sunday. Thank you.